Welcome everyone. Um, this is Will, it came back vintage. And as promised, I was gonna open up this power supply for the 2CI to see what the condition is inside, clean it, um, clean it out if necessary. And if it needs to get a cap replacement, um, currently console five does not have a kit for this power supply um, they have one for the GE power supply but not the Delta electronic ink um, so if I do have to replace these, um, these caps and if I buy the caps from them I will have to desolder each cap take a picture of it um, write down the um, the specifications of the cap and then also um, the file name of the picture needs to be the location of the cap and send all that to console 5 and they will then research it some more and then create a kit I also need to send them um, detailed pictures of the boards and um, the label so that they will have that and they, that they can make a proper kit and make it available for um, for um, others in the future So um, It's something I've had to do for some other ones. So let's start taking this apart. Let's start seeing what is inside Now I have not taken this apart yet uh, So this is the first go what you see is what I will see for the first time. Has anyone had one of these power supplies before? Um, I mean, I I do get told that the two C two CI power supplies, especially the GE ones, seem to have a lot of trouble. Um, anyone have any feedback or comments uh, please leave them down in the comments and while you're there in the comments remember to hit that like button for me please that would be a great help um, the channel is still young it's small there's not much going on on it these here, they have a very nice way. You see how they're like butterflied, but they're in a circle, in a circular motion. Um, so the way I found to take them out is to use my tweezers the same way. Uh, let me zoom in on that. Maybe then you can see a bit better. I'll take them like this. I'll do this with my tweezers and then I'll push it down. This one I have to get with the other hand. I should turn this around. Because this one went down too far. There we go. Yeah. Very easy way of doing it. Uh, so let's see how. Oh, okay. That came out easily enough. I'll put that aside. I do see some. Like, some residue of things. I'm not sure what is on the other side of this board. Let's take a look in here and see what we find. Board after board after board. At least they made most of the stuff plug in, which is nice. Easier to take apart. They made most of them plug in except this one. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. And this one over here. Okay, so let's dig down a bit deeper. 
see two screws here. So it's bright and early here in Cayman right now. Um, I'm a person that wakes up pretty early. Um, and I could do the stuff in the morning early when it's still nice and cool. One is to not have that, that AC humming background noise that um, some people have been hearing. And um, right now it is 7. 7.04 a.m. So I started this a little bit before 7. So. So far the only clip I see is this one here. That then folds down. I see a cluster of caps over here. And there's these small ones that have the tendency of going bad. I see quite a few caps in all. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten are just on that board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> A big one right in front of me that I don't even notice. And then over here, I see three. Let me turn on another light. I need to see if this has some some leakage. It's the best way I can find my leakage and to look at the what is on there. I don't know, that cap there. Some stuff around there. Those big caps are here and here. You can see all of this. Questionable. even a cap on that sideboard. Okay, so I guess I gotta take this out some more. There's even a cap there on this sideboard. So we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 caps total. Uh, let's take this out a bit further. I'm gonna have to cut that cable tie. I can always put a new one in. So today too, hopefully I'll have another mailbag. I'm expecting 
three more packages. Actually four, but that fourth one I will not get today. That's, that's for sure, because it just arrived on the island yesterday. And um, it won't be ready. So now I can unplug the fan and that other board. the two of the hardest little two-prong plugs to ever come out. Uh, boy, those are hard. And as I say on the board, which ones are which? Because I got the wires twisted and I want to make sure. Okay, the fan is the five, the other one is the board. And then here they have this little where the two connections are and now there's this other little board connecting them together first time I've seen one like I see that I don't think there's any caps on that no I doubt it put that aside let's go take a look at the bottom of this board to see if there's any corrosion going through my main area of concern is this cluster over here Where are they? Back here. And I do see a lot of that, this gunk, you see. And that worries me a little bit. So I do think I will end up replacing these caps. Sorry. Ah, nah, waking up, morning time. Still drinking my coffee. Yeah coffee cup yeah so like I said I am worried about this grain this because this is in the vicinity of all those caps as you don't see this on other spots of the board. You see this mainly where this cluster of caps are. A couple of small caps on this side over here. Uh, that other big one is over here. Then I have one. Let's see where that is. one right here right there which is that one and that looks pretty good there a couple of the small ones over here and there you can see a little bit of that same brownish dirt I think I will end up replacing them. Because I 
just don't like how that looks. So, um, anyone have any suggestion, any feedback on it? What do you think? That's a 1,035. It's not that bad. It doesn't look that bad. So, let's do the light thing down there and see. Uh, yeah, I see some some shiny juices down there. I don't know if I can see it. You see how right around that wire is a little bit different. The board looks a little bit shiny around there. Oh, sorry, I had my camera. The light blocking it. It looks a little bit shiny compared to the rest, I see. Usually that shine is um, leaking capacitors. And as it's through hole, it will go through some of these jumper holes and get to the other side. Hence why I look on this side a lot. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, definitely there is some leakage. Mm. So I'll have to take this out, document the whole process, the information, like I said earlier, and send it off to Luke and Console 5. They'll then get me a cap kit. I don't, like I said before, I, with me living on the island and that, um, buying, buying so many different types of caps just to have on hand. Um, locally, I will never find it. So I, I, I have to bring it in from the States. And oh, this one even broken. I, I didn't even cut. And I, I didn't even cut that one. Oh, so it's a lot of, it's, it's a lot of headache to do it that way. So it's easier for me to just to get the kits that I need and build them. I mean, I have some here, for example, that for boards that I still need to do. That's a SE. Another SE. I do have two SE boards. Um, a Mac Plus. This is a Macintosh 2. I do have both of my Macintosh 2s that I have not done yet, but the actual caps on them look pretty good, so I haven't. That's why I haven't done them yet. So this board, um, the outcome of it. I will have to take out the caps, um, do the kit, like I said, and then this will be out of commission until I get the new kit and get a chance to solder them in. So, but that's fine because I still have to actually retro break that, that, that case and all that. And I'll take this apart and get it to Luke and uh, maybe he'll have the kit, the kit ready and he can send it to me in actually in actually Florida since I'm gonna be there for for a bit and then I can bring it down with me so this will need a cleaning um, it's not that bad of a PSU it's I've, I've had worse I mean I've had quite a bit of worse ones so I will Put this back together. I'll, sorry, I won't. I won't put it back together. I'm gonna. Um, I'll take those caps off, and then this will get cleaned up and all that. So, anyway, so that that's this video. Um, I hope it was helpful for you all to see what I do for me to determine. Well, for me to take apart the power supply and take a look inside, uh, see how things are with it, um, and. I'll get this recapped and I'll do the video of it, of, uh, of actually recapping it. I may not do a video of taking off the taking off the caps because that's gonna be a long process. I have to take off one by one and 
take a picture, write it down, location and all that. So it's a much longer process. Sometimes a cap, I have to take two or three pictures to make sure I get all the information that I need to send off. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching this video. Remember to um, like, um, ah, why can't I speak this morning? Um, a, a, cl um, a click on that like button for me um, if you like the video, want to see more. And if you don't like it, you can click actually dislike. And I mean, um, that's actually your choice. Um, help help this channel grow uh, I do want to get some I do want to get better and I want to get some more camera equipment and a better microscope so that so that y'all can benefit from it um, I actually enjoy doing this work and I'm gonna keep on doing it and um, I figure making the videos would be a nice thing for everyone to actually see I know there's a lot of other people doing it also but um, each person has a different taste, a different flavor, a different way of doing it, and um, learning learning different methods, different ways, which really, how many different ways are there to actually solder something on or solder something off, but um, it's nice, it is nice to see the, actually, a community growing and how other people, how other people fixes things, so, anyway, have a good day, y'all, and we will, we will see you in some, in some other videos.